Okay, so let's learn how to get the uh, keyboard input. So how to move something using our keyboard. So this is where we left off. Uh, we have just a bouncing green ball. And I'm going to leave this bouncing ball. And I'm going to create one more uh, circle. So I'm going to back to my drawing API and I'm just going to copy this line so which will draw a circle out line so control c and control v into the on draw method and this will draw a circle with outline in the position 450 on x 200 on y uh, with the radius of 50 the color blue the thickness of the of the circle and also the number of segments although i'm going to give it just 20 segments so if i run it now we have this blue outlined circle and this circle will be let's say the player what i'm going to move using the keyboard so first of all let's just create some more member variables and one will be the self dot player underscore x and let's set it equal to 100 let's say and the set that player y and this will be at position 200 and now just replace these two values with set that player x and set that player y and okay so i'm also going to create let's say self that player underscore speed and this will be i don't know 250 and now let's take a look at the uh, how to get uh, input from the keyboard in arcade so if you go to arcade at academy let's scroll down uh, in the arcade package api and into the window class if you open this up you will see that for the keyboard you have two functions the on key press and the on key release and this takes two arguments one is a symbol which is an int and a modifier which is also an int and the same for the uh, on key release you have the symbol and the modifier so okay let's override this function and def on underscore key press and pycharm automatically fills out the argument so symbol which is an int a type of int and a modifier which is a type of int i just like to delete these uh, types from here and uh, the first thing i'm going to ask if the symbol is equal to the arcade dot key key dot right right so if the right key is pressed uh, then i'm going to set the player x position so in that case set the player that x plus equals i don't know 100 and if the symbol symbol equals arcade dot key left then i'm going to su subtract from the player x position so not 200 but uh, 100 okay so now let, let's let's take a look so now if i press the right key the blue circle moves to the right and if, if i press the left key also although it moves uh, with this 100 pixel increment so to actually as i said in the previous video when you want smooth movement you need to put this logic into the on update method so that's what i'm going to do now so here, after player x, player y, and player speed, I'm going to create four booleans. So self that right equals false, and I'm going to duplicate this line three more times. Self that left equals false. Self that up equals false, and self that down equals false. So right, left, up, down, and false, 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 and false. And here, instead of moving the player, I'm going to set the self that right equal to true. And here, self dot left will be equal to true. So when I press the right key, 
the cell that right will be true. If I press the left key, the cell that left will be equal to true. And let's create two more ifs. I'm going to just copy this and paste it here for, for the up. Then self that up up will be equal to true. And one for the down. So if symbol equals key down, then self that down uh, will be equal to true. So now instead of moving the object in the on key press, I'm just setting these uh, booleans to true. And uh, yes, in the on update, I'm going to ask. So if self self dot write is true, then I'm going to change the player's x position. So self dot player underscore x plus equals the self dot player speed player speed and this multiplied by the delta time so this will add the player speed which is 250 and and multiply it by the delta time for smooth movement and let's do this for the left and also for the uh, up and down so if uh, self dot left is true I'm going to copy this line and paste it here and then set the player that x minus equals the set that player speed times delta time and I'm just going to copy this and paste it here and paste it one more time so in save that up then change the player underscore y should be plus equals the player speed and if cell that down then player that y under I mean player underscore y should be minus equals player speed and uh, it's still not enough let's let me run it so when I press once the right key and I release it it will continue to move to the right although I release the button and, and I press the left key it uh, just stops and now if I press the right it, it doesn't move and also the left doesn't move and as you can see our green ball is <laughs> stick so I mean it's stuck on the on the bottom mm, this ha because uh, it, it is a small logical problem here mm, which I won't solve uh, now but maybe later so uh, that's why we need to reset so if the key was released we need to reset the cell that right to false and the cell that left up and down also to false so here is the on key press and here is the on key release so let me see it so def on key release it also takes a symbol which is an int and a modifiers which is an int so the modifiers should be the modifier keys like the shift and the control and so on and i'm going to copy all of these and paste it here and uh, if we released the right key, the right should be reset to false. False. If we release the left key, the left should be reset to false. And also the up key and for the down key. So everything should be reset to false after we released the key. And now it will work as it should. So let me try it. So if I press the right key and I release the right key, it stops. So the same for the left. When I release and if I press both the right and the left it won't move so now I'm pressing the left key and I press also the right key so I'm now holding down both the left and the right and it stops moving and if I release let's say just the left it will continue to right and uh, now I'm holding down both the left and the right and I'm releasing the right and it will continue to left and the same applies to up and down so that's the logic behind this so that's why i'm adding cell that uh, if cell that right and if cell that left if you add elif cell that left then uh, if the right key is pressed it won't check for the left key so that's why i'm i'm giving uh, for each uh, directions a separate if statement or if condition so this is uh, i think the most uh, useful way to actually make something move smoothly on your in your game no matter what uh, engine or library you are using you will always uh, uh, find i mean 
I, I created something in uh, Lua and the left duty, I used the same um, logic for movement. So I created uh, booleans for right, left, up and down. And in the update method, I just based uh, which one is uh, is true. I moved the player or yeah, or the character or something like this. And in the on key press and on key release, just do the uh, switching between true and false. And you will have a nice smooth movement. And also this movement uh, goes diagonally. So if I press the right and the up key, it goes di diagonally. And let's say the down and the left key, it goes diagonally down and also left and up. So it can be a nice game, like catching the moving ball or something like that. 